Welcome back. This is Arcade Knight, and the rightful king of Westeros has big plans for his invasion army. So today, guys, we will be weighing the pros and cons of swords versus Unsullied. Also, we're going to discuss a new idea for subscriber nights inspired by one of you viewers. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy thrones. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready to play A Clash of Kings. House Bright Flame has moved back to Claw Isle, but, but guys, you know, we're, we're doing good. Sharp Point is held pretty tightly. Um, Graznan Zopatton has done a great job holding the peninsula. But I think Stone Dance is our next target, guys. If we can capture Stone Dance, we can keep all of Dragonstone off this peninsula, and then we can focus our attention towards this area. Rook's Rest, High Tide, and eventually Dragonstone. And uh, let Stannis have the Antlers in Duskendale for now. I think the Lannisters, as well as Storm's End, will push them out of those areas eventually. But guys, what I want to talk about first, before we move on to the war, is that we need to start doing some recruiting. we got to do this recruitment smart, because I don't have a ton of money. Um, in my castle, I think there's about 20-something thousand gold dragons, and then I have 14,000 on myself. So that's not a ton of money. I should have probably waited till I had a little bit more money before I started this invasion. But we'll be okay, we'll be okay. We just need to make some smart decisions. And there has been a lot of conversation in the comment section on the channel about getting unsullied. Why aren't you getting more unsullied? And, and listen, guys, I hear you. I read all the comments and, and I hear you. And what I want to do is I want to discuss why I haven't got a ton of unsullied. And the number one reason is cost. To recruit one unsullied, it's 800 coins. That's 800 coins. And this is an unsullied. I picked one up. It costs 800 coins to pick up one unsullied. Now, I've done the math. Whenever you go into a free city in Essos and you pick up one lance of cell swords, infantry cell swords, it's about 7,500 coins. Now, you get 20 cell swords, cell swords for that. Now, if you do the math, it comes out to about 350 coins. So, for 350 coins, I can get a cell sword versus over double that it would cost me to get an unsullied now i do agree that the the highest tier the veteran sellsword halberdiers cost 10 more dinars per week than an unsullied now let's go to the other thing let's take a look at a veteran sellsword halberdier let's look at his stats first of all now he's got strength 14 agility 14, but what really matters his his health is 67. That's his health, his hit, his hit points. But also he's got an iron flesh of nine. Now his power strike is not that great, and his proficient proficiencies are not that great as well. Now let's talk about his equipment. Now he's got great equipment. Plus 54 in body armor, a bunch of shields to choose from, uh, a great halberd, a pretty good sword, and you know, all in all, good armor. Anyone would be happy with that armor. So I think the, the, the thing to, to get from a halberdier is that he is cheap to recruit and um, he's got a lot of hit points and he's got pretty good weapons and he's got really good armor, which gives him even more hit points. Now let's look at an Unsullied. Now let's look at his skills. So he's slightly lower in level. He's got the same stats here. His Iron Flesh is slightly higher. His health, I think, is slightly higher because of his iron flesh so he's a little bit but just barely now i'll tell you what these skills his proficiencies are double a halberdier double now i, I gotta give him that but then if you look at his equipment it's, it's kind of okay plus 37 body armor next to i'm in the 50s with the halberdier right his helmet's okay his spear's okay his short sword's not great so I think what you can take away from this is that the equipment of a halberdier is much better. It's worth the 10 extra coins you're going to spend a week on him. Even though the Unsullied may, Unsullied may have slightly better stats, um, the point being that those halberdiers are going to last much longer. And King Baylor 
Bright Flame has been in Essos for many a year, and he has fought many a battle with Unsullied and Halberdiers. And frankly, he feels that Halberdiers last a little bit longer in battles. And Unsullied tend to die a little bit quicker, even though they may have you know, better killing skills. Their ability to stay on the battlefield is weakened by the fact that their, their armor is much much less than the Halberdier's armor. So, guys, that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm not saying I'm not going to recruit Unsullied, but for now, I think the most cost-effective, efficient thing to do is uh, to keep getting Halberdier's. And also, guys, I'm going to recruit from the Vale. I need to, you know, eventually I'm going to get some archers. I'm going to get some knights. But for now, I think the Halberdier's are a perfect tool to take over Dragonstone, at least. Because they're, they're heavily armored, and I need to do a lot of sieges. They're great. They're, guys, they're really good against cavalry on the battlefield. You, you just hold them there, and uh, the knights can barely get through. And a couple of halberdiers can easily take down a knight. One halberdier can, can really go up against a, a heavy knight and, and win half the time. So, guys, cheers to the, uh, the cell swords in this game. And I hear in the next version they may nerf them a little bit, but that's okay. Mm. So, guys, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go recruit some more uh, sellsword companies, but what I need to do is raid some villages first to get a little bit more money. But what I want to do is go to the Lord's Hall and talk to the uh, Castellan, and I want to go ahead and do some recruitment this way. You guys have been reminding me, and I need to do this. I need to do some recruiting through my Castellan, so I'm going to talk to him about recruiting training. Yes. Um, hmm. I want to. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Um, where should I recruit from? I think if, if they go to the Vale, it's less likely that they'll get captured. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep. And uh, that costs me... Wow! Okay, that's more expensive than I remember it being. Okay. Um, is there another way? I think there's one more way of recruiting, isn't there? I guess not. I thought there was another way. Okay. So guys, I want to go back to the castle. And... um. Talk to some of my advisors. Talk to my seneschal. Let's inspect the treasury. Okay, so currently we've got 21,000 coins in the treasury. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, anything else? Nothing important. And then who are you? My minister. Okay. Um, all right, so I've looked at this. You know, and the windblown, frankly, I've worked with the windblown before, and they're not worth the coin. And, um... The company of the cat, no, not, not worth the money. I can hire some cell swords of my own and be much better off. Um, and I don't believe I can hire any more staff members. And eventually I will place you with a hand of the king. We're going to talk about that sometime later in the series, guys. But for now, I think we're in good shape. Um, but what I wanted to do is talk to you about something very important, guys. And that is our subscriber nights for this particular series and I had a new idea that I wanted to talk to you about so guys I'm gonna come back in a second and we're gonna talk about this new idea inspired by one of you viewers if you're new to this channel you may not be aware that I bestow the honor to some of my subscribers the great honor of being a knight in one of these series and inspired by one of you viewers in the comments section I thought of something really cool to give even more interactivity to my subscribers for this particular series. Now, if you're a subscriber who's been with me for a while, likes videos often, and leaves inspired comments in the comment section, then guys, watch out. Watch out in your private messages on YouTube. Make sure you know how to check those guys. I'm going to be sending one of you guys a private message very soon on exactly what I'm talking about, how to be a new subscriber night. But let me tell you what I'm talking about, guys. I think, first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to allow you guys, if you choose, to pick your own name in the game. And if you want to do something lore-related or your actual name in real life, or perhaps you want to keep just your, your subscription name on YouTube, then that is perfectly fine. Also, guys, I'm going to let you create your own backstory and lore for your companion in the game and we're going to talk about it right here on an episode and guys finally i'm going to let you go ahead create a character make him look exactly the way you want him to look put the beard 
make his eyes look exactly the way you want, go ahead and export that character and go ahead and I'm going to have you email it to me guys and I'm going to use him in the game as the face for that particular companion. And guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a second. But I am super excited. I think this is going to be extremely cool and add to the lore of this game and how Sprite Flames claim to the Iron Throne. So guys, let's get out of here and show you really briefly what I'm talking about and how I need you to export the face code if you're that lucky chosen subscriber night. So guys, it's this simple. And if you've watched my how to create your own custom companion in Mountain Blade Warband and all its many mods, you kind of know how to do this. But if you go to character, and basically what you do is, guys, go start a new game or a current game you have and go ahead and go to the character and then change him up. Make him look exactly the way you want him to look. Guys, do something awesome, but make sure when you do it, try to keep it within the lore of, of Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire, right? We're trying to keep this story related. So go ahead and create your character and make sure it's related to your backstory. And then what you need to do, guys, when you do that, go to statistics and go ahead and export your character. And boom, there you go. Now, guys, if you watch my how-to on how to create custom companions, you know where to go ahead and find that file. It's just a text file, and I'll have you email that to me. Now, guys, you need to wait for that special message that you'll get from me to let you know that you are subscriber night. And, guys, I want to let you know that I'm going to be choosing two subscriber nights very, very soon that I'm going to unveil in the next few episodes. So just wait a week or so, and I will unveil who the new subscriber nights are but guys you need to be checking your inbox is now on YouTube your message inbox is now because there will probably be a message in there letting you know that you are the next subscriber night for this particular series a clash of Kings so guys I cannot wait to do this this is very exciting and um, what we need to do is we need to get on with the rest of this because if these subscriber knights expect to survive and be able to protect the king, we need to recruit a new army. So guys, I'm going to get started on that and I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I'm running low on food and we need money if we're going to if we're going to recruit more men, right? I want to go recruit another group of self soy. So I need about 7,500 gold dragons to do that. So I think between at least raiding this village and this village, I should get enough to do at least one group, right? Oh, but we need to make sure... Oh, this is under siege, so they are preoccupied. Let's let's hope no one comes and, and leaves the siege just to come over here and stop this, this looting from happening. Come on. They're not going to do that, right? I, I, I can't see that happening. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I feel so good. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A whole tasty today. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Dragonstone can hate me. But we need the food. So, first of all, guys, let's, let's find the food in this whole group. Okay, so we'll take the bread, the cheese. Um, bring that beef up so they eat that first and it doesn't rot away. Ooh, some dried beef. And, uh, the sausages. Excellent. And then everything after that is stuff we're going to sell. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I need more room. Am I losing too much? Crate of coal. That's not that important. Lumber's 100. Um, I think I'm fine with losing that little bit. So. Don't know. I, I've gone to Maiden Pool so many times. I'm fairly sure. But let's go to. Yeah. Lord Haraway's town. Oh, Saltagar, you want more of this? You better go to Maidenpool. You bet. You don't want any more of this. Good sir, I'm on a mission. A mission to gain more money. You will definitely leave me alone. Oh, man. The recruiter has brought 50 recruits to Claw Isle. That's fantastic. I'm going to pick those guys up and recruit them very, very soon. I could probably trade the garrison with a few of my men. I don't need to be... I don't have to have 180 men on my party. Ugh, 450 coins. Yep, this is going to be the problem. It's going to be a problem. Oh, man. Let's try to sell the best I can. Gosh, there's just... Sell that and sell that. K 
killing me, man. Killing me. I may have to go all the way to Pentos to sell some of this stuff. Yep, I'm going to pick up all 50 of this levy. Oh, okay. And, um... Let's see. What I can do is I could probably drop off, like, these guys. Yeah, let's drop off any archers we have. Any men that look like they're trained up of any any ability. But I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep most of my, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's drop those guys off. Okay, so this is good. Most of my cell swords are with me. I'll keep the Unsullied with me. And uh, we're going to have to do some recruitment for some knights pretty soon. But, um, let's see. Oh, look at Duskendale. You stumble over a group of beggars that are being attacked by a group of bandits. Um, I rush to the aid of the, aid of the beggars. Of course, I'm the king of the Iron Throne. That's right. They run away. All right, well, let's see if we can hit Duskendale. Oh, Celtigar. He's following me. Let's go this way. I, I do not fight on the open seas, but if... If you're coming for Claw Point... Oh, he's following me. Oh, that's right, because I have those levy. Well, this could be a problem. I wasn't expecting to fight someone with all those... <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch! You've got Graznon Zopatin! Oh, I gotta beat him now. I did not realize he was captured. Oh, man. Look at all that levy. Look at all that. Okay, I'm gonna put the levy in the, um... In something I like to call the, uh, the untrained slot. <laughs> there we go. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so those guys are gonna stay back. I think we're going to have to win this battle without them. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Celticar. <sighs> you won't listen to reason. All right, we're just going to fight to the end. Let's take the field. So we're going to be we're going to be outnumbered quite a bit. Let's have everyone here. Let's have um, any of those Vale Levy hold back. Uh, he should come right at us, right? I would think so. Yeah, there he comes. There he comes right now. Is he going to back up, though? Oh, they are. They are, definitely. Let's put the uh, cavalry a little bit behind the infantry, in fact. And infantry, uh, let's see if we can get you guys. Hmm. Um. You know, I, I, I got to say, there's one particular subscriber that's been... Keep telling me, put your men into a shield wall. And uh, guys, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my men into a shield wall. I'm going to listen to them. Thank you for reminding, reminding me, good sir, that i got to put my men, my halberdiers, into a formation. I do appreciate you reminding me. So guys, I'm going to move my infantry up a little bit further. Untrained, hold way back. Move back, untrained. Look, look at those guys move back. Move back. Okay. Look at these guys in a shield wall. They are holding seriously close together. Hmm. Maybe we can spread them out just a little bit more. Let's bring them down just a little bit further. Okay, guys. So it looks like... Am, am I seeing archers back there? Not many. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Hold them back. Hold them back. Oh, look at this. Look at that shield wall. Hold. Push forward, man! Oh, there's some heavy knights, too. There's like 11 heavy knights. And my halberdiers are laying down the business. Let's see if I can get out of this mess. Hold, hold halberdiers. Hold halberdiers. Hold in this spot. Hold in this spot. Okay, looks like the knights are moving away. Get off your hearts, good sir! The damn king you're speaking to here! Oh, shit! Oh, he destroyed my horse. You bastard. You bastard! That horse is not going to recover soon. King is so upset! Thank you. Thank you, good sir. All right. Oh, I'm, I am, I am so, oh my goodness, 
They've gotten to my levy. You, you bastards. You bastards. Okay. Knights, hold back. Hold back, knights. Hold back. That was... Yeah. They, um... They definitely... They definitely kind of wrecked house a little bit, but I think... If I can get my men set up, get my men set up, we'll be okay. Wow. Okay. Not too bad, all in all. We lost five men, mainly Vale Levy. Mainly Vale Levy. Okay, I think we're doing good. There's some more knights back here. There's two of them. I think my, my soul swords are handling it. All right, so... You gotta be kidding me! These damn... Oh, I'm gonna hear about that from my men. Hear about that from my subscribers? Oh, letting these damn heavy knights... Make sure they're not... You son of a bitch, you bastard! <sighs> yep, that makes... That makes the king quite upset. But now that they see that the knights are dead, they're, they're trying to come. Okay. Uh, knights. Uh, actually, knights charge in. How's Bright Flame charge in? I'm gonna fight with my men on the front lines. Halberdiers on me. Let's finish these men off, man. Come on. Come on, Halberdiers. Oh shit! Oh my goodness! Caught behind enemy lines! Get off your hearts, good sir! Alright, we took some. We definitely took. Definitely some some wounds for my men in that one. Oh, and there's some more marchers. Oh, look at these men here. Damn it. It's frustrating. Frustrating indeed. Come here. Come here. All right, Abadiers, on me. Take the rest of these men out. Wow, this is a good little group here, man. This is a good little group. Yeah, Celtic Guard is giving me a little bit tougher battle than I thought, but fortunately, I think I've lost some levy that I just recruited in this. Can I get any uh, Bright Flame on me? Do I have any Bright Flame? One Bright Flame. I wonder who it is. Come on, man. Let's move up. These archers are killing us, man. Killing us! Look at... Goodness. A lot more men to deal with than I thought. How many... Ten dead. Man, that is really unfortunate. Look at all these men coming through. Oh, and there's a ton of archers. Let me back up a little bit. Let me back up. Halberdiers, let's charge in, Halberdiers. Come on, come on, come on. Come, go, 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 go. Go, man. Oh, come on, man. Not... The, uh. Man, you should be... Okay, Halberdiers up here. I have to tell them exactly where to go. Head up that hill, man! Wow. See, still 10 dead. I think we're doing okay. But every man lost is an important man. Because uh, the kingdom is so weak. And our only lord is captured by Lord Celtigar. So, gosh, guys, we're, we're in some serious trouble here. Clean up these men. Look at Garrett Longley still in the battle. Still in the battle. Oh, man. Look at these guys retreat. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. Ah, that guy's tough. Two hits. 
And he's still running around. Oh, this guy wants it. Come on, man. Finish the job. Finish the job. Guys, we're going to go ahead and finish up this battle. There's just a few more men. Just 12 more men. And once we finish this, we're going to go ahead and try to raid that remaining village. And uh, hopefully recruit some more men because we've just lost a bunch. We're going to have to head back to Paul Isle and recruit some more Vail Levy as well. Oh, there they go. Th there's the Halberdier. So, guys, w when I get that uh, started, I'm going to cut right back. Finally, a place where I can sell some stuff. So, let's go ahead and just get rid of the rest of this. So, sell those silks for whatever price I can get at this point. And then I'm going to save this for one of my companions because that's pretty good gauntlets. Excellent. Let's see if there's any armor here. It's worth my time. Not really. That would be nice for one of my companions, but um, not for me. My horse is still doing okay. It's doing okay, but I definitely need to get some more food, guys. See if there's um, some bread, 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 bread. Sausages are 150. Guys have been reminding me, don't spend too much money on food. And uh, you're right, bread is better because it gives you... Uh, uh, more points to your party morale. There's no reason to uh, buy sausages, frankly. To save the money, I think that'll be good for now. Gosh, but frankly, a lot of times when I do buy them, it's because there's not that much much food around. Well, let's go ahead and buy this bread at least. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to check out the tavern, see if there's another companion that we can go ahead and pick up. Uh, no, 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 no. Who are you, good sir? Nope, Western and Levy. I don't think we need you. Um, so, guys, let's get out of here. And uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is that um, those uh, those Vale Levy have upgraded really quickly. And I didn't lose that many. So, I think we're doing pretty good. Go ahead and get some more men at arms. And then let's see if we can recruit um, some prisoners. Ah, uh, no one accepts. You bastards. You bastards. So, let's see. We have not increased our money that much so we need to go ahead and try to grab that last village or do we lose it oh someone's already looted that village I'll be damn what about hall I think we need to, guys we're gonna hit the hall I think that's our last option grab some more money from hall and then uh, hopefully we can pick up some cell swords I'll go ahead and accept that offer hey look Tywin Lannister Traveling on by. So, guys, let's head to Hall. When I get there, I'll cut right back. Check out this battle. The Stormlands, Ronit Cunnington, and Graznon Zopatin of House Bright Flame are fighting Lord Celtigor. I swear to God, that Lord Celtigor, he is just a menace in this area. I hope they can win. They should be able to. Ah, I swear if Graznon gets captured one more time. And yeah, look at this. Hmm, pretty good garrison there. Let's see if we can take Hall. Hopefully they won't come at us. Nah, I think they'll be scared because the our army sizes are pretty close. Let's go ahead and loot and burn this village. See if we can get away with it. Uh, there's pretty much no escape on this island though. Nope, it looks like... Um... Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh... Damn you, damn you. We need that income from those villages. Um, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. How much did we get here? I'll take that beef. I'll take this. Oh, I'll take that fish. Put that stuff up on top. And then, um, yeah, let's pick up all this stuff. Ooh. I think we're going to take this stuff to Pentos, guys, and sell it off. Oh, man, I can't fit it in the party. Yeah, we got to hold on to this stuff. I'm going to either sell this off or give this to another companion. In fact, I'm going to sell this off because it sells for 2000 I hope, in Pentos. But the head arm is not that great. So, guys, we're going to head that way. We're going to sell this off, and then we're going to evaluate the situation um, in Blackwater Bay, the situation around Dragonstone, because it, it seems like maybe Stone Dance would be... Oh, you sons of bitches! Someone's already sieging Stone Dance. This could be a problem. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We may have to go for Rook's Rest. So, guys, I'm going to head to Pentos really quickly before we lose more feats we can capture. Get some more men, and I'll cut right back.
Beringer Perrin has just upgraded. I think it's important to go ahead and talk to him because he may be my next lord. Um, frankly, because of the way his skills are set up. So if I go ahead and give him a little bit more charisma, I could give him one more point in trainer. His writing's okay. His strength is only 12, though. Give him one in that. Give him one more in trainer. Yeah, let's do that. I think we need to start setting him up to be a lord. His leadership's okay at 2. His trainer needs to be a little bit higher. Probably some pathfinding would be great. Hmm. Let's do that, then. I felt like doing this. I felt like giving a little bit of pathfinding, a little bit of power strike, a little bit of one-handed. I think that's good. I think you guy, you're pretty set up, and um, we'll be talking to you soon, hopefully. Ooh, look at this. 26. That's fantastic. Okay, so speaking of that, we need to sell some goods here in Pintos. Hopefully, they got some money in the marketplace. Oh, that'll work out. That'll work out well. So let's sell this stuff first. See if I get even close to what I need. Not even close, guys. I think with that other stuff, we'll, we'll be somewhat close to the 7,000 we need. But we're going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. So we've got another 20 men in our company. That's going to help out. That's fantastic. Let's try this one more time. Nobody wants to join. And then we're going to go to the tavern. And see if any companion happens to be hanging out in the tavern that wants to join us. No? Oh. Wait. Sell sword spearmen. Sure, I'll hire you guys. I, I like you. Oh, wait. Here we go, Sir Bennis of Hollow Hill. Ah. Yes. 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 Would you like to... Yes. Ooh, you're... You're expensive, good sir. I have to take a sip of my tasty beverage and contemplate this. Oh. Considering how much money I just spent, you better be worth the money, good sir. You better be worth the money. And then one last thing. Hopefully I can make a little bit of that money up. Um, that's all I need to know. I want to sell these. Oh, that is, that's not going to make up for it. You better be good. So guys, let's get out of here. And let's check out if he is worth the money. We're down to 12000 Let's put Sir Bennis. Oh, he's got his own horse. I'm happy to see that, at least. Let's move him up under Brendan Storm. Also, I think, yeah, all these men are set to infantry. So, Sir Bennis, where are you, good sir? And let's see if you truly are a sir. Uh, let's talk about your skill. Four! <laughs> I think I'm going to have to remove that. You may be calling yourself a knight, sir, but I don't believe you are. You're writing a four, though. Not bad. Not bad. But ugh, you can't call yourself a sir. How dare you? Let's talk about your equipment. You've got a fair horse. Let's see if I can upgrade you a little bit. I'll go ahead and give you that. Sword 29. Okay. Oh, that's a much better helmet. Let's give you that helmet. Let's give you this shield. And you're a little bit better little bit better okay so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back over to Blackwater Bay Blackwater Bay around Dragonstone and we're gonna see if uh, maybe hopefully Stone Dance oh, still under siege maybe guys we can get to Stone Dance before they siege it see what's going on there if not we're gonna have to look for another place to siege so guys once we get there I'll cut right back I'm gonna see you guys in a second I was a little upset I found out that Axel Florent raided Claw, well, Crack Claw Point, and uh, I just had to raid the Whispers. I, I, I couldn't accept it. Couldn't accept it. I need to make back that money that I'm going to lose. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I will definitely make back that money that I was going to lose. I don't know if I can truly make it all back, but that's, that's getting me close. Wow, look at all that cattle. My goodness. Just so inconvenient. Okay, so... Looks like uh, Stone Dance is s captured by the damn Stormlands. That is unfortunate. Man. Weekly budget's looking good. I should have got on that quicker. I just didn't have the men, frankly. We're looking good here. Looking pretty good here. Who does he have? Um, well, Some heavy knights in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's really unfortunate. And I'm not going to go to war with them just yet. Oh, gosh. 
All right, guys, so it looks like we're going to have to find another opportunity. High Tide seems to be a little over garrison for my taste at this point. He's going to avoid me. He's definitely going to, man, you better run. I'm going to check it out one more time. And then Rook's Rest. Man, guys, I, I don't know about Rook's Rest. I, I fear that um, I don't have the engineer skill quite yet. Yeah, that's way too much. Way too much. And um, Antlers is too far out. But I, So let's check out Rook's Rest, guys. I think that's the next target. I think that's got to be the next target is Rook's Rest. So we're going to head over that way and check it out really quickly. 187. Wow. 76 elite Dragonstone men at arms. Wow. Wow. This will not be an easy siege. Not an easy siege at all. And make sure my men are fully upgraded. Yeah, I'm just not going to get... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it all pikemen and halberdiers and infantry for now. So guys, I think... Wow, I think that's what we're going to have to do is um, we're going to have to siege this. How long will it take to siege this castle? Build siege tower, 66 hours still. Gosh, guys, a lot can happen in 66 hours. So I'm going to really have to think about that. I'm really going to have to think about if we can wait 66 hours. But once we get Rook's Rest, guys, I think it's going to really open up to us. Um, because uh, I can't think of maybe Dragonstone itself. Maybe Dragonstone itself. You have to build siege towers. I'm going to have to check that out. But this may be the only uh, the only siege to conquer Dragonstone that has a siege tower. And then the rest of Dragonstone will be open to us. And then we can start moving forward. Start tackling the Stormlands perhaps. Maybe uh, put an eye on King's Landing. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It is so important. Don't forget, click that little thumbs up button. It is a great help to me. Also, guys, if you want to be a subscriber tonight, click that little thumbs up button. Make sure you're a subscriber. And also leave constructive feedback in the comments section. Guys, I'm all, always reading that. Trying to pick new subscriber nights. And also, guys... Make sure you check your private messages on YouTube because I will be sending a message very soon, if not already, to one of you subscribers who have been chosen as the next subscriber night with all those awesome details, guys. Choose your name, choose your backstory, choose the appearance. So many cool things, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on A Clash of Kings.